guys, I'm super excited to be here. We've got this young family in the Corumban Valley, an amazing location. They're renovating the home and we're wanting to give them power solutions. It's also a space that is a little bit isolated. You know, trees can fall down there. It's a quite a rainforesty area. So something that can give them power and could give them power if for some reason it cut out at the same time. This looks perfect, can we just wheel it in like it's a pretty impressive setup? <laughs> Glad you like it. Unfortunately not. We developed this for consumer shows such as the Home Show, yep. so that the general public can come and ask us about solar and we can demonstrate how it can benefit them, including energy storage and other capabilities. I can see all of these very fancy looking machines. This is above my pay grade to understand, but obviously something you guys get. Can you explain what these are? This is our full range of inverters and batteries here. So an inverter, um, and the functionality is that it converts unusable energy to usable energy for the household. So I've seen these in solar setups. This is becoming something common for my clients. Like really, everybody is putting solar in now. It makes financial sense. It's great for the planet. I understand it. So this turns the sun through the panels into the power that is running our houses. It's sort of that simple, right? It really is that simple. The sun hits the panels, creates this power. Um, the inverter converts it to be usable power. You can use that throughout your household. And then instead of feeding it back into the grid, any surplus energy and getting paid very little, you can now feed it into the batteries and then use that power from the batteries at night time when typically um, power is really expensive. It's a clever process. I was wondering, I'm guessing that this is a battery. When I first saw it, I thought it like layers like a little beehive or something. <laughs> it's um, a larger setup, but it also looks like it sort of clicks together. What's this about? This is our high voltage battery. It's a modular solution. Mm -hmm. So it goes up in increments of 3.3 kilowatt hours. Um, you can stack up to five in every stack. So giving you 16 kilowatt hours, wow. or if you needed more than that, you can add multiple stacks all the way up to 131 kilowatt hours. So it can set up a really large system for like a larger home or a commercial premises or something. Like Absolutely. That, um, small residential, large res residential, or even small commercial. So would that be the size, Dean, that we'd use? We've got a family of four. A home is about a three bedroom size home to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Would that be the visual size of a battery you'd recommend? Yeah, typically one stack should be enough. Otherwise, they can go bigger if they need to, but we would say one full stack, giving 16 kilowatt hours would probably be average. Yeah, amazing. It's a lot of power, isn't it? It certainly is. As far as the system, you've got a few options here. Um, what are you recommending for our family to be able to give them all of the solutions that they need? Well, in a remote, remote region where they're prone to power blackouts, the, the energy storage is key. So uh, setting up an, a backup circuit in the event of a power blackout out would be vital for them so they can keep essential things such as aircon, lighting, refrigerators powered and we can demonstrate that by the system you see behind me. That's a working system okay. powered by our other type of batteries which is like a small briefcase mm -hmm. so if someone wants a more compact solution that's ideal for them. I mean you have to have these solutions because you're dealing with different sized properties. I yep. know solar is now starting to get into apartment blocks like it's a pretty exciting time. I've been you know dealing with house design for many years now it's a it's a big change. Yep. For this setup, you've got this to be able to explain to people this van, but this is actually running off that setup, isn't it? It is, yeah. So we've got uh, lighting here, as you can see, the TV behind us. We've even got a refrigerator just in the cabinet below. Okay. So we can really demonstrate a bit of a lifestyle situation by demonstrating the power blackouts and just how instantaneous that kick-in is. So people can have that peace of mind so that they know that they've got that backup power when they need it. I grew up, you know, in the 70s, we used to have blackouts quite often. I think it was just the power grid. We tend to not have it so much, and now we're getting a lot of severe storms. So yep. it can really affect any area, and I think that that's something that you're cleverly dealing with. To keep the fridge going, um, to keep the essential services going for a family is important, but you know, you've also got families that might need some power for something medical, or, I mean, it's, it, it's really quite wide scope of the use. Absolutely, and we're seeing more households trying to increase their solar system size now, maximise that roof space. They're looking to the future where electric vehicles are becoming more prominent. We've even added a, an electric vehicle charger to our range as well. Right. So we're trying to provide that complete home solution for any family of any size and any requirement. You're at a time where you're dealing with an, a requirement, it's power, we want energy from the sun, but that connection that you just mentioned, John, about being able to put the car, that's something that we're just on the horizon now. We're a bit slack here in Australia, we haven't taken had the uptake that the rest of the world has, but this is something now that can be attached to your systems later when people are buying their cars. Yeah, absolutely. We're getting more and more households now inquiring about the EV charger. Um, they really want the holistic solution. 
um, we're lucky enough to be able to provide them the inverter, the battery, and then also the EV charger so that every can, everything can be visualized on the one platform. Yeah. Um, and if they choose to just purely charge their car just straight from the solar, then they can do that. Look, I, I deal with technical things, but I actually like things to be really simple to understand. So you've got just the click, peak, you know, we've got solar, we've got the inverter to, do, to take that power and transform it. We've got the battery to store it. This is a very clever solution and now we can run that to charge our cars. Like, it's a really exciting time. I'm ready to get an electric car myself. I think it's a pretty <laughs> exciting time. We all want to be off the grid yeah. and save the money from those energy bills as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a great time to do it. And now we're starting to see the government um, come through with their initiatives as well, starting to drive the uptake of um, solar electric vehicles. And um, you know, as we know, Australia per capita has more solar on the roof than any other country. So and it makes sense. We've got such beautiful sun. But a big thing is the cost. And at the moment, we're watching you know, interest rates. We're watching the cost of living. If I'm right, when I speak to my clients, we're talking about probably three years in savings of energy bills to pay for that. Is that realistic? It is realistic. I mean, anywhere between three and five years as a payback period is realistic. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you're going to stay in your household for that amount of time, then it's a no-brainer to really put solar on. Yeah, I think it's an investment in the technology, investment in your home. Uh, it's a win-win for the environment and definitely a win-win for the wallet. I, I just love it from so many different areas. I think it's very clever.